Hey guys, so I just made it home. My beautiful fiance, Beauty by Shelly B. Oh my God, my camera. Okay, well, I'm just gonna hold it. <clears throat> so, I just came back from the Red Cross and I donated platelets. Please guys, <clears throat> I know a lot of people can't donate because the range is too small. You're scared or you just can't because of whatever medical reason. And I, I respect that. Um, I know a lot of people can't donate money but you can donate your time they do blood drives every day at anywhere and any time you can even organize your own blood drive in fact if it wasn't because i was so busy i'd probably do it in fact for my birthday i might organize one but i might have to do it in conjunction with the park center blood donation center because i have nowhere to put it so uh first things first it takes two hours if you're doing uh, platelets or if you're doing, um, I think, regular blood donations. It probably takes about half an hour and you get goodies too. Like, like let me show you. I, I eat most of them, but I got a lot of a lot of goodies like this. I had Cheez-Its and I had, I already had three of these and they're so good. And part of the goodies is you get this American Red Cross bag. Isn't that so cool? And... I don't know if it's the universe saying, hey, good job, good deed. But as I walked out from, from the place, there's a parking lot. And in the parking lot, there's an empty stall. It was empty. I mean, there's an empty parking lot. And there, I found 20 bucks, son. I'm going to spend it on food. So today, you know, so, I thought I was going to sneeze. Sorry. I think today we're going to see what we could do. 20 bucks. I mean, wow. You know what? We'll see. I'm thinking of Benny Hanna's, but I like going there with Shelly, and she would be awfully mad if I went without her. But if we go, don't tell her. Nah, we're not going to go. Nah. All right, you guys. So I got to go back inside. I'm at home now, and I really got to pee. Uh, so I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, and hopefully I cook today. If I don't, whatever. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so we're here at Yogurtland and we got coupons for buy one get one. So guess who got hers for free? That little baby over there. So I was really excited because there's like five different new flavors and I got to try the last one. Actually the last two I didn't get to try. So according to this, the first one they got out was strawberry shortcake, which I loved. She loved it too. The second one was the apricot mango tart, which is very good. But I, I don't know, I just... Um, Apricots, like, not, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. Hello. Um, watermelon. mustache. Yeah, you have a mustache. Watermelon sorbet was by far my top three. I think, like, number two. Even though I like more creamier yogurts, it, it was still, like, number two. My number one has to be out of all five of them was the peaches and cream, which I finally got to try. Oh, my God. I got half of the big one is peaches and cream. One of the ones that ranked down the bottom was the larger than life mud pie. I I love chocolate. I love, 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 love call it chocolate. Chocolate is life. But I just didn't like it. It tasted too... Chocolatey? No, no, that wouldn't have been a problem. The problem was it was... I love coffee and it tasted too much like coffee. Because I've had like sky high mud pie from like uh, Ang uh, Black Angus. And it was really good. And this just didn't compare. So, in rank, because I have them both right here. In rank, I have to say peaches one, watermelon two, shortcake three, apricot four, and then obviously mud pie is number five. And I'm so jealous of you because now we're going to go to the car wash and I she gets to eat hers while mine gets to melt a little bit. Well, it's still better than last week. I was in like 122 degree weather in Palm Springs, but who's complaining? All right, you guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're back home, guys. And just as I left it, my mess and my mess. Yep. How do I live? I just do. Oh, yeah, and then I got a whole bag of stuff right there. Yep. <sighs> we're going to tidy this place up. But first, we're going to make a dank sandwich. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes.
Just to put in a remote. If you guys ever in the market for a really nice fan, Dyson. It's kind of pricey, but no blades. You just clean it up with just a little cloth and uh and I have a little AC too. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> it's baby Billy. You'll see a lot of her today. We're gonna go to land. Aren't we going to Yogi Land today? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go try out some new flavors. So you guys stay tuned, okay? Well, guess who it is? Kiss my grits. I'm back home. And guess what? I went to Starbucks because right now if you do per you know more than five purchases after two between now and like the third, you get a hundred points for Starbucks app reward. And I went to my local one and I got my usual, my triple iced espresso. And they gave me a freaking free one! Yeah, it says Shelly's name. I stole your reward, Shelly. No, I'm just kidding. It's not a reward. It's a promo all weekend long until, the, until Monday. So guess who's going to go there later on? Also, not later, later on, because it's only from 2 to 5. So Red Hill and El Camino Real. They're doing buy one Grande Ice Espresso, get another one for free. So I got a double shot um, iced, which my good friend Michelle Gunn told me it's supposed to be really good. And then I got a custom drink that she also suggested. So she's in the Fresno store. I don't know which one in Fresno. So don't ask me because I don't know where it is. I don't know exactly. But anyway, it's so cool from two to five. So I might, if I'm really crazy, I'm gonna get another one. How cool. Anyway, we've been getting a lot of buy one get one free stuffs. And look who's sneaking up over here, little <laughs> baby Billy. She wants to be in this video so bad. Don't you? Where are you? There she is. <laughs> Alright you guys, so the car wash was full and I'm using the refrigerator as a tripod. See look, we're in the fridge. Hi fridge and look, there's the cheese. Cheese! It's probably what's for dinner. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Whether it's at the car wash or at the... I want to say the beef eater for when we're making our dinner with the beef. I love dinner. There you go. We love dinner. We'll see you when we see you. Okay. Well, hello there. So I have it on the tripod. And right now what I'm doing is I'm preparing some stuff. Uh, for Salisbury steak or hamburger steak and what I'm doing is in this little thing right here I put breadcrumbs and this thing I got from pavilions called it's a peppercorn medley grinder so I'm just putting it's about a quarter cup in here and about six tablespoons of this because I like it real spicy we're gonna see how that turns out this is a really easy uh, recipe because all you really have to do is you just mix it and it's gonna be super spicy like I like it and then what you do it's gonna look kind of like this the slit this is a little big little small little thing and it's really good mm. you could do this with um with burger meat I just got turkey because it was on sale and um, I'm trying to be healthy now I have about half a pound left so right now I just need to figure out um, really there's something to figure out I'm just gonna mix everything together so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this with this and I hope I am capturing everything because I can't see what I'm doing so I'm just hoping against hope that it's doing it so next time you see me it'll be all done One last thing, I actually put a little bit of uh, garlic powder and some parsley, and I'm using my hands because I'm gonna make this for me anyway. My hands are all nice and and washed, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt. And this is uh, Hawaii Kai Hawaiian black salt, sea salt. Um, I would usually use a uh, uh, Himalayan, but I don't have any. I kind of forgot to get some, but that's okay. You got all this. Okay, sorry for the interruption. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, so I totally turned on the camera with my nose. So it looks like a big ass 
hamburger patty, but I assure you it's not, first of all, because it's turkey. Now, I'll tell you one thing, though. This isn't sponsored by George Foreman, but get yourself a George Foreman, man. It changed my life. It changed my family's life. I rave whenever people think, I'm thinking of getting a George Foreman. You know, I say, I was like, yeah, you need to get one because it literally changed my life. When I was uh, living on my own for a year in 2008, 2009, I had a small one, like probably a quarter of this size, and it changed my life because I could cook things. And it tells you when it's ready. You plug it in, it's orange. When it turns green, it's freaking ready, guys. So if you want to get one, like I said, it's not sponsored, but George Foreman, you got to get one. They got smaller ones. They got bigger ones. Like, it's crazy. But anyway, um, we're going to put this in here. Okay? So it's nice and ready. Oops. So what I do is, I and I hope, I hope to my sake that this is showing up. So I'm going to turn them into little patties like this. Okay? Put them on in there. Ooh, listen to that sizzle, man. All we're doing is just kind of playing them out. You know, you want them to be nice and uh, even, more or less. I think we'll have enough here for probably four. We'll see. Maybe four. Oh no, it looks like it's going to be four. Okay. And then what I'll do is um, I'll put the ingredients to the little, uh, to all that stuff I just put in here. The panko and um, which are breadcrumbs and um, all the other things. I'll, I'll put the uh, I'll put the recipe in the description as well. So here we go. This is that sizzle, you guys. Next time you uh, next time I show up, it'll be nice. And I can't even think. I gotta go use the recipe so bad. It'll be nice and crispy. And uh, what I do is, um, earlier in the day, I did do something like this, but it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't um, this recipe. I used just the recipe, which includes um, the painful breadcrumbs, the peppercorn medley, and that was it. And it came out so good. This one includes the sea salt, the parsley, I put parsley in it, and then there's also um, garlic powder in there. And just as a secret ingredient, I put a little bit of um, chicken uh, bouillon, and and I hope it's good. I've tried, I've had this before with uh, beef, like round beef tacos, and it's just amazing. So I've talked and talked and talked while you listen to me wash and wash my hands. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys. So uh, my turkey things are almost done. So, the next thing we gotta do is mashed potatoes, and because I am so lazy, um, I can't even tell you, I guess I'll have to do another video, lol, about how lazy I am, we're gonna make mashed potatoes from a bag, and guess what, the ingredients say, all you need is two cups of water in a medium sized pan, and heat water on high. And then put all this, long story short, TR, T, too long, didn't read it. Um, we're going to put this in here once this starts to boil, which shouldn't be too much longer. And once that's done, we're going to have our four cheese mashed potato stuff. Now, earlier, I had made this stuff, like I said, and I had cooked up some um, frozen, whatever the heck these are, uh, veggies. And they're very good. And I made some OU oh, uh, gravy. It's right over here. If you need proof, there it is. And it's still hot because I just, you know, made a little bit uh, warm. And so now all we got to do is wait for this to boil. And then I'm going to just add in that stuff and you'll see the reaction. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, you guys. So here it is. My George Foreman reveal. Oh, look how beautiful these are. These are going in my tummy. Tum, tum, tum. Give me all the turkey patties. That's right. So this, and we're about two, no, we're three out of four items away from the perfect meal. I'm going to plate it and see how it looks. Rate me, but please don't berate me. Thank you. All right, guys. So here it is. This took literally five minutes to make beautiful four cheese mashed potatoes. 
okay look at that beauty okay i don't want to spill it or burn myself but it is so good oh my god i'm dying over here mm. it's so good it's the best trust me i love food and oh my god i haven't done anything with the 20 dollars but today i'm thinking maybe i could do a haul at either dollar tree or maybe do like a like a like a food haul because if you guys remember at the beginning, man, this is going to be a long ass vlog post. Jeez. But if you guys are still here, you guys are the real MVPs. So hang in there. It's almost not even done. The final product. All right. Doesn't that look yummy? So I meant to uh, post uh, this video about a day sooner. A uh, day earlier, so I'm gonna post this on the fourth, and I hope you guys watch it. It was from Saturday, and I meant to put it on. My hair is a mess, by the way. It is. It actually is midnight. It's the fourth of July, so never don't forget, guys. Why the fourth of July? Why we have it? Because we we are a country that is um, one of the best countries. We are in um, turmoil. We have a lot of stuff that may um, some people find me be not liking but remember we're all americans first right we we are america and that's how we are going to make america our country is being americans and being good human beings humans beings humans being humans but i digress hopefully you guys have a great day be safe out there and those of you who have to work uh, thank you for working. Someone's got to stay up and have the lights on. Someone's got to stay on and drive those buses, cook those burgers. And, you know, I just want to let you know that even if people are rude to you today, I want you to know that I appreciate it. So hopefully you all have a great day. And be safe and sound and have fun. Don't drink and drive, please, guys. That's the only favor I'll ask you. Okay? Remember Uber or you Lyft or the bus. Just remember it's on holiday service, okay? All right, good night, you guys. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys sometime this week. Goodbye, party people.